Google Duplex. This is the virtual assistant that Google showed at Google I.O. in May that freaked everybody out because <laughs> it seemed very, very human-like. It is, uh, it's, it's very promising. People mm -hmm. are thinking this could be the next step. I mean, it's far beyond where we are with Siri or Alexa or Google uh, because, or Google's You just turned everybody's assistants on right Home. now by saying that. <laughs> hey Siri, hey Alexa. Um, but with this, it showed a kind of very human-like uh, personal assistant where, uh, well, let's take a look at the video where we see how lifelike it can be. Hey Google, book a table for two at El Cocotero on Tuesday at seven. All right, just in case that's not available, can I try between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m.? Sure. All right, I'll call to book under your name and phone number and I'll update you in the next 15 minutes. Is that okay? Perfect, thanks. El Cocotero, how may I help you? Hi, I'm the Google Assistant calling to make a reservation for a client. Um, this automated call will be recorded. Can I book a table for Tuesday the 12th? Okay, cool. And how big is the party? It's for two people. Great. And when did you say they want to come in? Um, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Okay, let me check. Mm-hmm. I don't have seven, but we can do eight. Yeah, 8 p.m. is fine. Perfect. And can I get their name? The uh, first name is Anna. Okay. We'll see Anna Tuesday. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Thanks a lot. So when this first unveiled, people were shocked. And they listened <laughs> to it go, um, it's for two people? It's, it's for it's strange. seven? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it, it inserts these little interjections to make us feel like this is how a normal person would talk. You know, they're not totally engaged. They don't know everything about everything. And they, there are certain pauses in the speech. But as you notice in that video, that's not the same video that debuted in May. That shows a person actually using it because it is going to be expected to roll out sometime this summer to people with Google devices. And a lot of people are, are a little concerned, and rightfully so. I mean, there are some ethical questions that come up with Duplex, which is should we... Should people be aware that they are talking to an AI? Should, yes. <laughs> well, they are, because as you saw in the video, it does announce itself right off the top. Yeah, it says, says that you're being recorded. Hi, I'm the Google Assistant calling to make a reservation for a client. This automated call will be recorded. Can I book a table for tonight? But there's no way for you to say no. The way that you opt out of being recorded is by hanging up, mm -hmm. at least at this point. Uh, there isn't really a two-way agreement in that where you would say yes or no. Uh, the guy in the video just said, cool, okay, when do you want the table? Right, just this is the greatest right thing that's ever happened. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't skip the part where the the worker was just like, what? Or is like, <laughs> I need to, hey, uh, Kim, can, can, can I, I get I a send to this? <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's an interesting question because theoretically, none of our phone calls are recorded unless we're told that they are, uh, mm -hmm. theoretically. So it's an interesting question that's being brought up. I mean, we can make fun of the ums and the ahs, and we laugh when we watch the clip, because it, even though it's supposed to make us feel more comfortable and more like we're speaking to a human, I think because of media, because of characters like Data and Baymax, it's more off-putting that they're not using completely grammatically sound speech the yeah, entire time. they should be better than us, right? Yeah, and, like Data and, and Baymax. Not. <laughs> I do think, though, that the ethical questions aside, I think this will catch on, because we love paying for convenience. I hate talking on the phone. But um, there's only three specific use cases for this, so you can't necessarily apply it for different ways. Uh, right now, you just saw they were uh, making restaurant reservations. You may have seen in May, it can also book salon appointments, very specific. And lastly, it can check the store hours of businesses during holidays. I wonder that's if those all are the, can do at this point. The top three things people are Googling, and that's why mm -hmm. they've rolled it out well, that Well, those way. are reasons why you might need to call as mm -hmm. opposed to check online. Because a lot of businesses don't post, you know, on Memorial Day, we're going to close at 5. They, they yeah. don't usually do that. But, uh, I mean, even if you go to Yelp, it says call the store and see the hours. Yeah, and we're all like, and I'm not going like, to call the store. Of course I'm not going to call. <laughs> I'm just going to drive there and see what happens. <laughs> Which is something I would do. So it's not a general AI at this point. It only does that right as of now. Uh, they are recording your call, mm -hmm. which you may be concerned with in terms of data or your, your privacy. Mm -hmm. um, but I, 
it seems at this point that it's used only for training purposes of um, other AI. At least during the earlier tests, there was a human around in the room to make sure they could uh, act as a fail safe or yeah. correct it. Yeah. If, it, if it could go wrong. It'll be interesting, I think, when they start rolling it out en masse, if the people who are receiving it, the restaurants, the salons, um, and I'm assuming you'd have to opt into this program. They're not just going to throw it at people who have no training. Mm -hmm. But how well people receive it who are working in the actual business? Well, right now it is being tested mm -hmm. on very specific restaurants that have already agreed to be part of this. <laughs> so uh, it, don't freak out right now if you do work at a, at a restaurant as a host or hostess or server. Uh, but maybe do that around September after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it becomes wildly popular. I think it's okay personally, but I think I'm more accepting to this kind mm -hmm. of thing. It's a little off-putting and I, I do understand that, but we'll see as it moves on in the forward. You made it to the end of a video. That's great. Wow, Ferris Bueller was kind of a jerk because I personally love that you did this. Hit subscribe for more fun and no bathrobe lectures.